Good morning. How are you? I just completed uh, the installation of my uh, conversion kit to a wall-mounted garage door opener as opposed to a center mount. And what precipitated all of this is the sheetrock here started to bow earlier in this year and I realized, oh, I have a leak. Well, I had a contractor come, he fixed that leak, and the leak moved up the ridge line, and then you can see it started leaking here. He has since come back and repaired that, and he's currently away on vacation and will be here in another week or so, two, day, uh, two weeks, to repair this, fix this, and replace this stairs. When the morons put these stairs in, they never cut off the end of the legs, so the previous owner used it until they actually broke the, uh, I guess they're called styles, I don't know, uh, on the side, so the stairs is useless. I have to pull them down, and I needed to pull them down to find out where it was actually leaking, and you can see the rope broke off of it, and they're useless, so I'm getting those replaced. So that precipitated this because I could never get up into there and I need to film when it's raining to find out where it was leaking from. He has since replaced the flashing all along the side of the second story because the roofers, when they put the new roof on, actually cut the flashing morons. Anyhow, this is a Clo-Play uh, conversion kit for a garage door that uses uh, spring mounts like uh, with the pulleys and two springs on the ends to help raise the door to a torsion bar that has a spring on it that uh, helps remove the weight of the door so a wall mount motor can be used and that in turn freed up my center track so I can actually use this attic in the future uh, when the stairs are replaced so far, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, excuse me. And this is the garage door in operation. It works flawlessly. It's quiet. Um, it has a light that is wireless. Uh, I did not connect it to the network or internet. I could, but I don't really want to. And uh, it works almost flawlessly. The, it has a lock that once the door is completely down, and by the way, I haven't cut this string off that's the pull down when you want to manually open the door. And you can see a little deadbolt pulled slid out of there. If I unlock the door, the first thing it does is retract. And then the door goes up. I also installed a wireless keypad. However, I don't believe I will use this. Let me see if I can get this open. Yeah there and that was stupid simple to install no wires you had to uh, take this cover off there's a screw here there's a screw up there and it automatically opened the garage door so i don't know how that exactly worked there was no configuration you just had to put the type of garage door you used and uh, and that was a number eight and then you had to put your code that you wanted to use. The only thing I don't like is it only uses a four-digit code. And then you add a certain number at the end, which I'm not going to tell you. You can look it up online. Uh, and that is becomes the code for the garage door. But anyhow, this is uh, how it rolls. And... I'm real happy with the installation. I'll be really happy when I get that repaired and that replaced. Y'all have a fantastic day, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye. Okay, this is what I removed 
from my garage. This is the opener, and then it had these pulleys with these springs that pulled the door up as most, well, yeah, probably most garage doors do, and that is a problem for me because this bar, this part, blocked the entrance to my upstairs of my garage, the attic over my garage. They put a pull down stairs there. They put in an outlet for a center um, garage door opener, but they never put a garage door opener in. And I, I put one in and realized as soon as I started to install, it was going to block the door, but I've lived with it and I just removed the garage door opener when I want to go into that attic. So that's few and far between.